I, I want to know, David, when did you get a call from Christopher Luxon yesterday? Um, you know what, I think if we start having politics about the drama of who called who when, uh, then we're even further from being able to solve the serious challenges that New Zealand has uh, than I realise. Uh, what I do know is that we're all talking, uh, that we are going to form a government and that it's going to be a government that is going to have a very tough challenge uh, dealing with the fiscal impacts of the last government that have left us with not enough money at the end of the week, both in households and businesses, but also the government's finances are up against it. Uh, and I can give you a series more issues, but I think those are the challenges that people want to hear answers on. OK, but we are waiting actually to have the formation of the government. Does this final election result that you've sort of lost favoured status as a coalition partner now that Winston is needed? No, I don't see it that way. And again, you know, you can make it a popularity contest, you can make it uh, a drama, um, or you can ask, you know, what, what is this government going to have to do? Well, first and foremost, it's going to have to seriously reduce uh, the amount of money that has been frankly wasted, uh, the amount of debt that's been taken on without raising productivity. Yep. And Axe's view is that what the next government needs to do is go as hard on that as possible. And that's one of the things we'll be arguing for, because sure. it has a real impact on people's lives. But, but, yeah, and I understand that those are the issues they will canvass in the campaign and that's what's waiting for you in, as a coalition government. Mm. But, you know, we've got to get there first, right? And so you've reached out to Winston Peters. He sent you to voicemail. Does that concern you? Um, well, first of all, that's not true. Um, and second of all, I just think having you know, that level of detailed argument again isn't, isn't quite going to help because uh, mm. you actually know the answer. Um, you're going to need the numbers to talk. The voter is king and queen in an election. They've asked us to work together. Uh, that is what we shall do. And of course, we'll have to talk. Uh, if you want to get into the technicalities of how phones work, then you can. Um, but I don't know if that's uh, <laughs> well, the level he's, of. He's ignoring I don't know you. The, I don't, he's, he's been ignoring I don't know you. If that's the level of debate that New Zealanders want. Well, you know, you've got to, you've got to talk to a coalition partner. I mean, that's the, the bottom line here. Um, it's, been a, it's been a reversal. This has been a reversal for you because at one stage during the campaign, you were saying, well, you know, we could even sit on the cross benches and vote for each piece of legislation that's gone through. So you've had to flip on this, haven't you? Uh, no, I mean, I'm not going to negotiate through the media, um, but that is still a logical possibility. Uh, you know, we reserve the right uh, to represent our voters and do what we see as being best for New Zealand. Uh, and that can have a, a number of different ways of fitting together, of course, but also true um, that, as I've said throughout the campaign and, and since, uh, that our strong preference is a stable, united government uh, with National and the people asking us to, to form one uh, with New Zealand first. So actually, mm. that hasn't changed uh, you, at all. Um, it remains uh, you know, just as relevant as ever. Do you, do you, um, yesterday you were still talking as if crime and uh, referendum on the treaty were you know, sort of non-negotiables or your bottom lines. Are they, could that really work? Or are you going to have to walk those back? Are you walking those back in your negotiations? Uh, well, no, I'm not. And frankly, not. the okay. Treaty of Waitangi is a beautiful document. Uh, it's a document that needs to be properly understood. The way the courts, the Waitangi Tribunal and the bureaucracy have interpreted over the last 40 years is not consistent with either the treaty or what works in democratic societies to give mm. each person a dignified place in their nation yeah. state. So you're not uh, walking that, that back. a discussion okay. that needs to happen. All right. Do, do, do you seriously think that you could get this over the line, a coalition agreement, this, this week? As you said, you say a matter of days, even this week. Are you, is that serious or is that just a position, the, 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 or is that a position of yours to say, look, we said we could do it quickly and the other guys aren't coming to the table? It's positional. Um, well, where we're at is ACT has a very developed set of policies. Uh, we've got talented people uh, ready to take uh, positions in government uh, and we know what we want out of those negotiations. Now, mm. of course, you know, that depends on when you get to, to meet the others and we've met one party, we haven't met the other one yet. Uh, then you start to understand, uh, you know, whether it's possible that you've got enough alignment and also, you know, what's their sort of attitude and tone. Um, right. At that point, you get to understand what the 
time frame is, but but could we do a deal on that time? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, OK, OK. So does that mean, I mean, you, you haven't met one party, obviously that's New Zealand first. Uh, what is happening this weekend? Because, you know, you want to... Christopher Luxon wants to get cracking on with it. He wants to form a stable government. I think he said that 14 times in the press conference yesterday. Um, are you actively negotiating this weekend? Are you personally involved in negotiations? What is going on? Because time is, as you say, of essence. Well, this, this weekend uh, we're taking some time for our caucus. We've spent a lot of time talking to other parties um, in the last wee while. Uh, so we're partly talking to our caucus about how those negotiations are going and how our positions are looking. Um, and we're also just focusing on building that team because you've got to remember uh, we're bringing new people into Parliament. Uh, we want them to work assiduously for the people who trusted ACT with their party vote and for all New Zealand. Uh, okay. So we've got to sometimes invest in, in our team as well so when, as when, uh, bring them up to speed when, on, on how those negotiations are going. Right, so, so are you saying that no negotiations this weekend and then it starts all again on Monday? Um, I think there'll probably be a bit of uh, contact between the parties over the weekend, um, okay. but in terms of sitting down and formally doing stuff, I, I think that's going to start from Monday. David Seymour, Act Party Leader, thank you so much for your time.